Tammy Slatten is an American reality television star and YouTuber who captivated the public when she, along with her sister Amy Slatten, starred in the TV series 1000 Pound Sisters. Her weight loss journey has been documented by the TLC network show since January 2000 as she battles a way out of morbid obesity with the help of medical experts, including known bariatric surgeons Dr. Charles Proctor and Dr. Eric Smith. The TV series was created by Crazy Lake Productions, which also produced the weight loss journey documentary Family by the Ton. Tammy Slatten was born on the 27th of July 1986 in Kentucky, USA, and grew up poor with three sisters and a brother. Her mother, Darlene Slatten, would work three jobs just to support them all. Her father wasn't in the picture early on in her life, and in 2013, her mother married her stepfather, Frank Rednor. Tammy has been overweight all her life. She was bullied as a young kid in school, called vile names, pushed around, and made fun of. While she has siblings, she knew from the get-go that Amy, who was a year younger than her, would be the only one to support her, and vice versa. Both she and Amy said that other members of the family, including their mother, would often call them ugly, fat, lazy, and stupid. They only felt loved by their grandmother, who was basically like a mother to them growing up. Tammy said that it was only her grandmother who treated her as though she was no different from everyone else. After her grandmother died when Tammy was 11 years old, she drew comfort from eating. It became her source of enjoyment, but it was always fast food, and if they didn't have any, the church would give them food. Due to her size and inability to move without assistance, she stayed at home and rarely interacted with other people. It could get lonely at times, and so Tammy, with Amy, started vlogging on YouTube. Each opened an official channel and started sharing videos of themselves, doing practically anything that seemed fit to share about their lives. In 2014, they gained immense attention from YouTube fans when they uploaded a video called Chubby Bunny Challenge. The challenge was to put as many marshmallows as they could into their mouths and say Chubby Bunny. The video quickly went viral and attracted close to 2.5 million views. They were noticed by the TLC network, which offered them a chance to headline their own TV show about their planned weight loss journey. The title was 1,000 Pound Sisters, representing both the girls, as it was their combined weight. Tammy was a little bit over 600 pounds, while Amy was 405 pounds. The first episode was aired on the 1st of January 2000. Due to emotional stress, massive intake of food, and no proper exercise, by the age of 20, Tammy weighed over 500 pounds. She found comfort in eating, as she initially believed that it wouldn't harm her, but found out too late that it did. Her unhealthy lifestyle had led her to become morbidly obese. This means that the person is over 100 pounds above the ideal body weight, or has a body mass index, BMI, of over 40. Throughout the years, she knew that she was overweight, but didn't bother to check her actual weight. Tammy developed serious medical issues that led her to be hospitalized four times, being put on life support twice, as she was discovered to have a blood clot in one of her lungs along with a bad gallbladder, high blood pressure, and thyroid problems. While she can move around using a walker, she still needs assistance in almost everything she does, including taking a bath since she couldn't stand in the shower. Since Amy wasn't as big as her and can pretty much do normal things, Tammy relied heavily on her support but has mostly stayed in the house anyway, only going out if she needed to go to the hospital. She and her sister knew that they had a serious problem, so they tried everything to lose some weight, including walking and dieting, but nothing worked for them since they never really focused on it. However, in 2019, they accepted that drastic action was needed and both resolved to try bariatric surgery. While her sister's main motivation for losing weight, aside from wanting to be healthier, was to eventually conceive, Tammy needed to do it simply because she might not last another year without becoming permanently bedridden. Her knees would likely give up as they didn't have cartilage anymore. They would pop out if she stood too long, and it became painful if she walked more than 45 steps, even with a walker to assist her. To prepare for their plans of getting a weight reduction medical procedure, Amy then bought simple exercise gadgets for her to lose weight, even while sitting or lying down. Her sister said that a dream was to see Tammy go around without the walker and so regain her independence. The first thing that they needed to do was go and discuss their plans with their mother. It was some sort of a test if she and her husband could take Tammy out in the car without incident. Apparently, 
The only time she went out recently was via an ambulance to go to hospital. It would be Tammy's first time in eight years to ride in a car. Even then, they needed to fold down the back seats so she could sit on the floor of the car. Tammy was quite tired by just walking to the car and had a difficult time trying to sit properly inside it. But fortunately, there were no incidents during transportation. Although unfortunately, the meeting with her mother didn't go well since all they heard from her was that they wouldn't be able to go through with the bariatric surgery as they would chicken out. Their mom explained that she'd heard it multiple times from them, but they'd never got around to doing it. So she was just being skeptical. Their mother's negative comments actually motivated them further, declaring that they would prove her wrong. Tammy and her sister had an online consultation with their chosen surgeon, Dr. Charles Proctor, a second-generation bariatric surgeon whose medical practice is based in Atlanta. He was trained by his father and is considered as one of the best in his specialization. He was first seen on another TV series called Family by the Ton and became a fan favorite for his amazing commitment to helping his patients. The doctor said that they both needed to have the surgery as soon as possible so that they could live a better life. One of the first things morbidly obese individuals lose is their independence. The moment they start relying on other people, they tend to depend on them in everything they do. When they actually had a face-to-face -face meeting with their doctor, Tammy learned how much weight she needed to lose before she could qualify to undergo the procedure. So, the Slatin sisters started their journey of losing weight, which meant eating little and sticking to their diet. It was so hard that the two eventually fought over small things and it almost broke the relationship as sisters. The first season of the TV series ended in 2020, with only Amy qualifying for the bariatric surgery. Tammy was quite jealous and upset, but happy for her sister. Almost everybody around the world was hit with difficulties when the pandemic started due to the COVID-19 virus. During quarantine, Tammy had a hard time sticking to her diet, and when she went back to Dr. Proctor, instead of losing more weight, she had regained all she'd lost from the previous weigh-in. Her excuse was that she'd had problems accessing healthy food during the quarantine. The result was that Tammy was dropped by her doctor and advised to look for another closer to her home who could monitor her condition more easily. In season two of 1,000 Pound Sisters, Amy couldn't be there all the time for Tammy since she'd become pregnant, which created more problems because of her bariatric surgery. Surprisingly, their oldest brother Chris volunteered to join Tammy on her weight loss journey as he also needed to lose his excess weight. They found another surgeon, Dr. Eric Smith of the Georgetown Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services based in Kentucky to help her reach her goals. On the surface, everything seemed to be going well for Tammy as she continuously fought hard to lose weight and her boyfriend, Jerry Sykes, was pretty attentive to her. However, her sister and brother felt that a boyfriend was derailing her weight loss journey. Her brother said that he recently found that Jerry even cooked a huge amount of meatloaf for her. Chris told Tammy that a boyfriend was an enabler because instead of losing weight, she gained more. Eventually, the relationship ended, but not just because her family didn't like him. Jerry was the one who called it quits. The reason was that he was married and the wife discovered him cheating on her after watching the TV show. They parted ways amicably because apparently Tammy was aware that he was married but didn't care. The wife, Kia Russell Sykes, called her a homewrecker, but Tammy defended herself and said that the wife was quite sick. She further shared that Kia couldn't provide Jerry the wifely duties that he needed at the time. Tammy also disclosed to her family and the viewers that she's pansexual, saying that love is love and it can be shared by anyone, whether lesbian, gay, transgender, or of any kind of sexual orientation. The breakup with Jerry wasn't that painful for Tammy, as she easily found a new love interest in a man who calls himself BBW King. Fans were quite worried that Tammy was just being used for clout by her new man, Philip. Her boyfriend told concerned fans that he can bet that he has more money than all of them. They also left comments on her social media account, saying that the new boyfriend might also prove to be detrimental to her goal, since Philip prefers women who weighed more than 400 pounds. It seemed that Tammy didn't really care that much about those things, since she just wants to love and be loved, saying that she'd found true happiness with him. Some fans were also curious if the two had taken their relationship to another level since they posted diamond ring emojis on their social media accounts but hadn't made any official announcements. After the end of season 2, fans were worried about Tammy's condition and they also wondered if there would be a third season considering that Tammy didn't really seem to be focused on losing the required weight. 
The last time she visited her new doctor in season 2, it was revealed that not only had she gained more weight, but had also contracted the COVID-19 virus and so was hospitalized. She also uses supplemental oxygen at home when she was discharged after battling the potentially deadly virus to help her breathe properly. During the consultation with Dr. Smith, Tammy admitted that she couldn't stop eating and that's the reason why she gained more weight. The doctor said that it was great that Tammy didn't use being infected with COVID-19 as an excuse for the weight gain, appreciated her honesty, and said that acknowledging that she's addicted to food was a huge step in moving forward. There were rumors that her family decided that Tammy needed to check herself into a nursing home so that she could seriously attend to her goal of dieting and exercise. There were sightings that the reality TV star was indeed in a facility, as recent photos of her bed looked similar to a hospital bed, along with the headlights circulated online as well. However, in May 2021, Tammy addressed those rumors through her social media account, saying that they weren't true. Another rumor that came out was that she allegedly attacked a nurse by slapping her face. The fans of the show weren't surprised anymore, as Tammy was known for having a short temper. Despite her denial, some people believe that Tammy did stay in facility for a brief period and that she was kicked out for physically attacking the nurse. Loyal fans of the Slatton sisters need not be worried as Tammy, along with her brother Chris, were spotted leaving the Georgetown Bariatrics and Advanced Surgical Services for her appointment with Dr. Eric Smith. TV Insider said that half of the third season of the show was already filmed. Chris also accidentally shared on a social media account that they are currently filming the third season. So, all the rumors will be cleared in the next season of this reality TV show. For once, viewers can be assured that no script is required for the series to continue. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.